Hi everyone, it's Gina and I want to talk a little bit about WorldCat and give you some tips for using it. This is going to be especially important if you really don't have much experience using WorldCat or it's a new to you website. So what is WorldCat? It is a library catalog of over 10,000 libraries worldwide. Now that's great, but it doesn't include every library's catalog, so keep that in mind. But it's a nice place to kind of start your research and see what's available and what's out there. So probably the most important thing I can tell you in this video is that this is where you're going to search for keywords that have to do with your research project or your ancestor. You're not going to search by your ancestor's name unless they were an author or they were famous or infamous. All right, because that's not how cat uh, library materials are cataloged. So think of keywords that have to do with the place your ancestor is from, an event they took part in, or something that you're researching. So that's what you're going to search on. And you're going to do it in that white box that you see on the screen. Now, what I would suggest is don't worry about doing an advanced search because what we're going to do is we're going to search on a keyword and then we can narrow that search down. Now obviously at some point you can do an advanced search but let's just start with a basic search for now. And while we're on the screen before we move let me just say that you can see towards the right hand side there is the ability to have a sign-in, and I do have a sign-in. This is something you can do for free. It's a free account, and it's nice because it allows you to put together bibliographies. It allows you to uh, do various um, sharing and uh, creating lists that uh, you can, you know, benefit you and other researchers. It's not necessary to your research. You don't need to have it to search WorldCat. It just provides you enhanced features. So we're not going to go over that, but just know that it's there. I know for me, I find it helpful when I'm researching a topic to go ahead and create a bibliography. And in order to do that, you have to have a sign in. All right. So let's instead concentrate over here at the search box and as you can see this says everything and that's what we're going to start with everything because I want to see what results I get from my search. Now like I said before you can search on any kind of term. Uh, it can be the place your ancestor was from and all the ways to describe that. It can be an event, it can be an occupation, it can be a religion. So uh, you decide and I would suggest that you do quite a few searches so that you get everything that you need. Now let's say that my ancestor was part of the Women's Christian Temperance Union, the WCTU. And I want to learn more about that because I want to write about what that would have been like for her as a member of the WCTU. So I'm going to just start with trying to search on WCTU instead of the longer Women's Christian Temperance Union. But in reality, I should do both, one after the other. All right, so I'm going to ask it to search everything. And I don't get a lot of results, as you can see. I only get about a thousand, but that's enough, right? So notice that in the middle, I have my results list. And this is familiar because this is what you see with any catalog that you search. Over on the left, I have my tools to filter down my search. So, for example, you can see that uh, under format, it says archival material. Yes, WorldCat does have some archival material. Now, that shouldn't be a substitute for archive grid, which I will do a video about that as well. But just know it's there. You can do books. You can look at articles. Uh, you can look at other items such as theses and dissertations audio, 
uh, visual images. So there's lots of different choices. And then if we continue down our page here, you'll see that you can refine your search by an author, by a year of publication, a language, content, and audience and topic. So I can play around with this, which would be important, especially if I get lots of results and it's just way too broad for me. So I'm going to leave it as it is, but I want to come over here to the format. And, you know, we're used to gathering things like books to get the history of something. But I want to see what theses and dissertations they have. Because remember, those are scholarly materials that someone has really researched. And what is beneficial about that is that, that might give me some ideas for additional resources. So let me go there. And you know, there's what, 19. So I can see here that, you know, here's one about prohibition and early statehood in North Dakota. So if she was in North Dakota, that might be useful. Uh, here's Alberta, and I'm assuming that's Alberta, Canada. Uh, here's Cincinnati, here's Texas. So some of these are very specific to a place and that might be beneficial to learning more about my ancestor if she lived in that place. Now, obviously she's probably not gonna be mentioned in that thesis or dissertation, but that's okay because we're looking at the fan club and we're looking at what can help me better tell a story. And there's a lot here that can. Now. With theses, this is a good example of uh, you might have to do a little extra to get what you want. So let's just check on one. And in case you don't know what the WCTU was or is, they were uh, primarily concerned or largely concerned with uh, temperance, with uh, getting rid of alcohol consumption, but they were also interested in other topics that they felt were, uh, that would benefit women and getting rid of vices that uh, hurt women and children in some way. And that's obviously a longer discussion. But here is the card catalog entry for one of those uh, theses we're, we were looking at. And this is the one for uh, Cincinnati. So you can see up at the top, it gives us the title, the author, the publisher. So this must have been a student at the University of Illinois. And this is from 1984. And so it tells me a little bit about that. If I scroll down, it tells me based on my zip code where I can find this and get a copy of it. And so you can see there's quite a few places. In fact, one of the places is only 29 miles away from me. So that's one way I could access it. Now, if I was somewhere else traveling or um, researching, I could put in a different location and see what comes up there. Now, you know, while I'm recording this, we're under stay-at-home orders here in Southern California, so I'm not going anywhere. But in that case, what I might want to do is see if I can interlibrary loan it. Uh, I have successfully Googled some of these theses and dissertations and found them online, so that might be an option. Maybe the student later wrote a book um, based on that, and so I might be able to find the book on you know, one of my favorite book websites. Now, if I continue to scroll down, it tells me once again, this is a thesis or a dissertation, and it tells me a little bit about it. And if there were reviews, there would be reviews. Uh, it also has tags, and sometimes people tag the content with uh, words that have to do with that item. And so that can be helpful to your research as well. Now, if I scroll back up, I just want to show you a few more things before we finish up here. Do you see how up here at the top, there's the option to cite this? Now, I told you that if I'm signed in, I can create a bibliography. So that's one option. 
But I can also uh, look at the various source citations. Now, obviously, evidence explained is not one, but let's just use MLA. I can now copy and paste that into my Word document or my to-do list or whatever I want. So that can be beneficial to you. You can also print it, email it, share it across different platforms, or just have a link. So there's lots that you can do with WorldCat in kind of doing an overall survey to see what is available and what you could use to better tell the story that you're hoping to tell. Now, this doesn't substitute for doing a search on your local library or your ancestors' local library library catalog. And the reason is, is because they may not participate in WorldCat. So you probably want to do both, but this is a great way to start your library search. So I highly recommend it. I hope that was helpful to you as you think about uh, resources and places to go for your research. And I'll see you later.